Hi everybody, it's Linda again, and today I'm going to do another master board on this art journal that I'm working on for a friend. So now, um, the next couple of videos, if there really isn't much left to do, will be focused on this journal. And then I'm going to get together with her and give it to her. So today what I'm doing is, I have a pile of papers. Um, these are my, um, these are my, um, coffee dyed papers. I had to think, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so what I thought of doing, since this is stark white, was I'll just create a master board on here. So um, I have these papers that are cut in in shapes like um, rectangles and squares. So here we go. We're going to use them. And I'm going to take... Um, what is this? What kind of, oh, I'm sorry. I keep hitting the... Okay, so this is Scotch Permanent Glue Stick, and, you know, there could be a, a better glue stick. I've been using this, and it seems to be good. I like it. Um, I've heard of other glue sticks out there, and I'm sure there are many that are, are fantastic. So you pick the one that you like and um, go with it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put this down. And you know what I should do so I can see where my paper ends is I'm going to use this plastic cover to help me see where the paper ends. And I'm going to have to stand up while I am doing this to make sure that I kind of get it in there right. Okay, so this is a... Um, go as you will kind of thing. I have no idea. So I'm going to overlap the papers and I want to put them down in different directions. So let's get some glue over here and we're going to adhere the top. And I know I should be putting this on another. Let me use this. Here's the other part of the book page. So we're going to use this so that we don't make a mess. I can always clean this up. It's a great cover. And I took it off of a book that is in one of my paper packs. Okay, so we're going to go this way. We're going to put these papers down in different directions. Because we want a different look. Let me see if that's on there good enough. Okay, there we go. And then what I'm going to do, because I want to have that crease in there, so I'm going to put it in like that, fold it over so we get that, that crease. There we go. And we got it. All right, next, another piece of paper, please. Um, let me see, what do I have? This does not look like cardstock. This looks like um, it might have been from, not might have been, was from another type of paper. And you know what? I'm going to use it. It looks good with the coffee dyed. Okay, so here we go. We're going in. I'm going to put glue all around. And I wanted to make sure that it stays on. So I'm putting plenty of glue on. And if you have a problem afterwards, you can always go back and put more glue on. Okay, so I can see where the edges are here. And what you can always do if... I just put the ruler down. Good grief. It's... Oh, here it is. You can always... Um, you know, if you're, if like, say you're over your page, like here, you can always cut it later. So we'll get that, hold that in, and there we go. Get that down. So now we want to put another piece over here. So what I want to do, I'm looking at my papers. I have stacks of papers here. Let me see if I have any that are cut. I don't think so. So what I'm going to do is put one piece there, and I'm just going to 
cut it along the edge like that. And I get a pretty good straight edge when I do it that way. And then this is going to go over this like this. And I, you know what? I'll do it more like, like that. Okay, so let's get the glue. And we'll go over this. There we go. And I don't know if you heard that, but my Alexa just told me what the weather's going to be tomorrow. Okay. I don't know how to stop her. I'm doing that. I have to go in the app, I think. Okay, so we got that. And now I think I'd like to do a piece going like this. But I'm going to have to cut a piece off. So let's move it like I'm gonna move it over like this. I'm gonna flatten it out. I'm gonna take the scissors, make sure it's straight, and just snip it in there. And then I have this piece that's gonna go over there. So everything is going in different directions on purpose. And I'm going to put glue on here. And this is, I have a feeling this is gonna be a long video. So, if it does turn into a long video, there is a little flower on the top. It's up here on the right, on the top, there's like a flower. Press on the flower, and then you'll see playback says normal. You can change the speed to 1.5, 1.7, and I believe 2.0, or normal. So, you can... Increase the speed, or you can pause it, or you know, maybe not watch it at all. That's totally up to you. I, I get it. There's a lot of people out there, and there isn't enough time to watch everybody. Although, I would love to. Okay, so I'm going to see what happens if this is this is a little short. I want it to be a little bit longer. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so scissor, please. And we'll just snip. And we have we have that to cover it. So let's get let's get the glue. And we'll glue this side. I'm gluing this side because it's a little bit darker than what I really am looking for, although that might look good too. But too late, I already put the glue up. Okay, so move that over. And you will adhere that like that onto. And you know what? I have um I have a scraper. And it's really a good idea that you do use a scraper because it just adheres everything better. And if there's a little bit of glue underneath like a, a glump, a glop, or whatever you call it, you can get it, and you can smooth everything out. It's, it just gives it a nice, finished look. Okay, so we got this box right here. Let me see if I have a bigger... Yep, I, I absolutely do. It's almost like this was cut purposely for this. Okay, so we're going to use that, and we don't even have to cut it or do anything. So we're going to get the glue, the Scotch Permanent Glue Stick, I am not affiliated with them, um, but I do like their glue. And here we go. Okay. And I'm going to adhere that down like that. I'm going to get the, um, I could use, could have used this before instead of what I did do. And then I'm going to glue it down like that. And, whoops, sorry. 
and hope that that let's see how that looks you know what this piece right here is bothering me I don't know how good that's going to be I might need to cover that and maybe what I'll do is put one right here in the spine that's what I'm going to do and it's amazing these pieces are, are perfect it's like they were cut out for this project and I'm over here putting glue on and then we're going to give this a few minutes to dry and then we're going to take out some water paints I'm going to cover the glue and I'm going to go over right in the middle so that I have a good clear and I want this glue to dry before I start putting water on it so I'm going to give this a few minutes and then I'm going to come back and just paint over it that down okay that I'm just gonna give that a few minutes to dry and I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be right back okay so we've given this a few minutes to dry and um, what I'm gonna use now are these Kiritake Japanese watercolor paints and from what I'm learning they're not gouache but they're a little bit um, on that side where they're, you don't really need to mix them, although some people do. I'm just going to use them as their natural color. So I also, with this came, well, I've explained this before, but I will again, in the box, it comes in a box, really nice box like this. If you can see it, it's a rectangular box like that. And it has uh, a cover and a bottom. And then inside, they give you a diagram of all the paints and then an opportunity to put the paints on the paper so you can see what it looks like. But they also give you another sheet where you can put the uh, paints on the paper, which I'm going to do. And then the, pa the, um, the paper is going to stand right there so I can see it while I'm painting. And now I have no idea what I'm doing, what I'm going to paint here. But, you know, I have some paper that I've been practicing on, and I'm thinking about doing some branches with leaves. So um, I'm going to go in with my, um, I have, I wonder, I want to try this one. This is the number two grabby. I also have, I started with the grabby watercolor paints, and they're only $19. When you compare the price to this, it's compa uh, uh, compatible because in the grabby you get half pans, actually probably less than half of a pan. In this, you get, this is a full pan and I mean you get 50, what is it? I think I got 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 8 times 6, what's 8 times 6 guys? I don't even remember, My, I don't remember. Ugh. That's embarrassing. I think there was over 50. So that's 48. Time, 8 times 6 is 48. So there's 48 um, pans in here. And there's plenty of colors for me right now. Um, I'm really getting into this. So who knows what's going to happen in the future. But for today, we're going to go with this. So I have my water. Um, space is limited. So to the right over here, I'm going to have a piece of paper, uh, tissue paper, and I'm going to put it on the right here. You won't see that, but, and then I have two um, jugs, two little glasses of water. One will be my dirty water and the other one if I want to clean it. And then I have these brushes by Grabby, which I really enjoy Grabby. It's a great, um, in my um, unprofessional opinion, it's a nice set, especially for anybody that's just getting started. And then as we go along, you know, we become hoarders and we hear all the professionals and I listen to many 
and very good people out there and you know you learn more oh look at this look at this will you Ugh, let's get the glue okay so this is what you do you know like um when you're when you're creating books these things happen and there isn't anything you can do except just go in there with some glue and re-glue it that's all very simple nothing to worry about okay so i'll put that right there in case i need it so the scary part is i don't know what i'm going to paint but i do know that i'm going to start with branches so i'm looking at my board here and i'm thinking about burnt sienna so i'm going to go in the burnt sienna is, is right here i got burnt sienna and i left the water squirting bottle on the lanai i have uh, jade plants growing on the lanai and i have one that's starving for is thirsty rather not starving thirsty so i went out there with the spray bottle and i oh how pretty is this on on here very pretty i'm gonna go back in Oh, Baxter just ate his dinner. He's inside wiping his mouth off on the couch. And we're going to go in here. Like this. So I guess this is going to be tree branches. Here he comes. Okay, so we're going to put a little knot in there. And wet this down again. I like this burnt sienna. Very nice. Maybe a little too much paint on here. And we'll get a couple of trees growing up here. Some big trees. And that's what we're doing today. At the Crafting Depot. Okay. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm doing good. Some days... I, I, you know, I live alone. Some days it's a little lonely. It's just me and the, and the big guy down here. Actually, little guy. Who am I kidding? My little guy. Hey, what you doing? Here he is. Giving me a look. Oh, excuse me. That wasn't me. That was my friend over here. Okay, this looks a little sad. I'm going to put some branches in here. Get some water. I don't know if you can see me. I'm over here. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm over here getting some burnt sienna. And then I'm coming back in to fix some of these branches that look a little sad. And we're going to go down like that. And we're just going to put some leaves in after this. And that's going to look like a knot. They don't have to be perfectly straight. Branches are not straight. They have bumps. And ridges. And well, this tree looks so sad. What's going on here? Okay, let's get. There we go. And we'll um, come out here. Be a little thicker. And there we go. Am I in camera? Yeah, I'm over here. You know, I notice that a lot of times my hand is in the way. My I apologize for that. I have to 
make sure that I'm in, that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just painting lines. This is not difficult. It's pretty easy. If I can do it, you can do it. And I'm going to go back in here and fix this. And then I think what we're going to do after this, we're going to go back over it with maybe some gray. And um, let's get some, some branches coming out this way and that way. Because branches do that, right? They like to come from all different directions. There we go. And maybe we'll do the same thing over here. So this is going to be like a, not a starry night, but we're going to have, we're going to have tree branches growing. There we go. All right, so we need to add some um, leaves. Or we can make them cherry blossoms. Like little cherries. Okay, let's see what colors do we have. What does this say? Orbiolin, orbiol, al, or, I can't even read it. And my prescription is like 200. Oriolin, oriolin. Okay. Oriolin, we're coming in. And we're going to go around. We're wetting you down. We got the Oriolin. Oh my God. <laughs> you have to see the look. The look. Sadness. Oh God, I hope this wasn't a mistake. Here we go. We're going in at the crafting depot where we never know what's going to happen until we start doing it. So we're making little like cherries, little cherry blossoms. And we're going to put little dots there and there and there. There. There we go. And I know the flowers don't look like this, but these are the little cherries. Call them cherry blossoms. I don't know. That's all I'm calling them. We'll make it nice and wet. And we'll see what happens. It's all an experiment. She's going to have to understand. This is my friend's journal that I'm working on. First time I'm ever doing any of this stuff in here. So. It's time to learn. It is time to learn. It's time to get crafting. And just have fun. Wish I could have done this my entire life. Work is always so stressful. I don't know of any profession that really isn't stressful. Doctors, attorneys, teachers, police officers. So I'm just going to fill the page up with these round circles. And let it go like that. Put little circles all around. Okay. I gotta do better than that last one I just did. Make round circles and then do them around. Like that. Little ones and big ones. This is a whimsical it's not accurate so don't get upset this is not an accurate um what i'm referring to as a cherry tree 
I know that there's blossoms in there and flowers and it's a beautiful tree that um, I think there's a lot of them up in Washington DC because I know that a girl that I used to work with used to tell me about it and um, Caroline so this is you know extremely easy and relaxing I mean Let's see how it comes out. I mean, it's not just going to be like this. I'm going to have to add other things to it. And we're going to put circles around. The whole idea is for all of us to get out of our comfort zone and play. You know, it could be acrylics. It could be um, ceramics, whatever it is. I stumbled across this, as you know, from Pam, and um, having fun. I saw her yesterday, actually, last night. Oh, there we go. Got to be careful. Okay, raise your hand up. And I'm just doing these little easy circles. So let's move over to this side and start putting in some circles. And let's see how it turns out. I wish I could speed this video up. You know what? I'm going to keep putting, doing round circles and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm having fun. Um, what I did off camera was I sprayed it to see if it would like, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Bleeding. I wanted to bleed all around. What happened was I didn't do it quick enough on this side. So let me see if I can get some of them wet again. And that's the look I'm looking for. I want it to bleed and come out looking blurry. Let's get some over here. I need some more water. You have to be really wet. So we're going to wet them down. And then right now these that are off the tree Imagine they're just falling off the tree. Okay. The wind is blowing, so they could be anywhere. Doesn't matter. Let's get some up in the air. Let's do this. I think. Okay. Okay. There we go. We're bleeding. Okay, so I'm going to let that bleed because that's the exact look I'm looking for. Let me see if I move this. Let me move this over here like this. You see how much fun playing with paints can be? So we're getting that. I'm just trying to tilt it. Let me see if I blow on it. Nope. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I have to let this dry because now, you know, this, like I told you, this is an experiment. It's my first time doing this. I'm really happy with the way it came out, but I'm going to go dry it and I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm back and I dried it off and I noticed that there was some lifting on some of the pages. So you didn't need to see me do that, but I will let you know that when you wet it, especially if you're doing something like this, where you're taping papers together, you will possibly see them lift like I'm seeing right now over here there is a little liftage so how am I going to get in there first I need glue Linda and we're going to put a little glue in there and just seal it down seal it down so it's not a big deal it may happen if you do collaging like this um, it most likely will happen. Okay, so I've been looking at other artists and I, I look at their brushes. Now this must be a, you know, when I bought it, I'm not sure that I knew what I was doing at the time. And I think it, well, I shouldn't say that. I, I always put myself down and I have to stop doing it. Okay, so I think this is an acrylic round brush. But for anybody out there who's really knowledgeable, let me know. Because 
when I look at other videos and they say they're using an eight round, it looks a lot smaller to me, or maybe it's just, I have to look at it again, but that's what I see. Okay, so I'm also thinking I should go back in and get, I need my towel. Ah, okay, sometimes I get off track. What I want to do is go back in with the burnt sienna. No, do I want to use burnt sienna? Um, let me try this. What is this called? Right next to it. It's a um, that's yellow okra. Oh, you know what? This color is not what I said it was. It's the word above it that I can barely see. Something deep. I got to get my um, bifocals out. No, my magnifying glass. It's, it's ridiculous the way things are today. You can't see them. So I'm going to put a little bit of the, um, what did I say it was? Yellow okra. We're going to go in with yellow okra. And we're just going to go do some of these. And go over it like that. Maybe go down the trunk. And usually trunks are a lot thicker than what I have here. Why am I so sticky? Oh, because I had, oh, I have glue on me. Okay, so I'm just going over with the yellow okra. Yes. And we're gonna go up like that. Some of them are gonna have a little I should probably wet it down again but I don't know I think I'm just gonna go with it and kind of makes them stand out a little bit more and there they go I should probably wear a mic because I notice once I start working it's hard for me to talk and um, do what I'm doing because I get into like um, you know it's it's just uh, it's a little difficult that's all it's a little bit difficult okay so we're gonna go up like this yes we are um, here we go here we go and I'm having a blast I'm having fun You see, being retired isn't so bad. It's, well, it's wonderful. What am I saying? Okay, here we go. The only thing is, you're kind of limited on how much money you have, even though you are also when you're working, but I have less. But, you know, I enjoy spending it on all my crafts and doing stuff for you guys. I love it. And I hope you like it too, because, you know, it's fun over here. Okay, we're just bringing this out and I don't know should I I mean I know I should leave it alone but I just feel like doing something else to it oh we got to go back in with the um, what was I using before burnt sienna there we go so we just want to make the um, trunks a little bit you know what I don't think I was using the burnt sienna you guys when we watch the the video on replay we'll see how much I remember okay here we go we're going in and I'm loving it I do feel like putting something in leaves wise so I'm not gonna make them look really like leaves in the sense of you know a real leaf it's just going to be a round whimsical circle and we're gonna use um, sap green light so we're going to go in with the sap green light over here and we're going to do the same thing we're just going to put little dots of green Ooh, that's kind of like um bright really brilliant it looks good there we go little 
You know what I need? I need one of those brown brushes, and I know I have one. It's in the closet, because I used to do this with my acrylics. But I had one of those round, flat brushes, and you could go around. Actually, I think it's a stencil brush. You know, when you're stenciling in your house? I think that's what it's from, because I'm thinking back years ago stenciling on the walls i told you in another uh, video i painted um a border around my living room all flowers and leaves it looked really cool you know but then you have to paint over it and that's what happens then you can do it again i have a wall and i really should start doing it in my spare room and I painted one wall I don't really like you know the color that I painted but I was thinking about putting in um, some leaves silver branches because I have a Buddha picture in there and I was thinking I could take um, what's in the Buddha it had it's surrounded by these leaves that and branches so I think I'm gonna do that on the wall and then what I'll do is I'll show you you just have to do it you know it's like you make these projects and ideas for yourself and then you don't have the time to do it either I'm being lazy or I'm just so busy doing something which is usually the case I don't watch TV I try to watch movies and then I get bored I must be picking the wrong one I really like the way this is coming out and this is the sap green what did I say it was sap green just sap green no sap green light sap green light okay so this is a crazy whimsy little playful thing here and there we go I'll just drop these dots this is really wet Okay, we get and just go around like that. And see how it looks. And just go around. Around and around. Here we go. My poor sister, she's so sick, and she's she sounds like she's got the flu. And she has to go to work tomorrow. Or she gets written up. It's terrible. And she's a really good employee. You know, but things happen. You get sick. Her husband wound in the hospital. She had to take off. It was pretty serious, life or death. You know, but they don't care. Nobody cares. They replace us in a second, in a heartbeat. Okay, enough of that. Let's keep going. Nobody wants to hear anything sad. I went out last night with my friends. I haven't seen them in a while. We went dancing, and oh my God, I had so much fun. And we have one friend, Oriani. <laughs> he's Brazilian. What a great guy. And he's got this, he's got his own move. We all have our own move, you know. And he started taking bachata. <laughs> and a bachata song came on. And I got so excited. And the two of us started dancing in front of each other. And I said, hey, Oriani, you've been doing bachata the whole time. And he started laughing. He goes, I know. <laughs> ah, so we had a blast. And then another friend was out there, and she found this wonderful guy. He's a doctor. They found each other online. Can you believe it? And she was just about ready to cancel her subscription. She had had enough of that nonsense. And um, lo and behold, this very nice guy came over, and he's a doctor. Um, and uh, they're getting married. So I'm going to their wedding. And they showed up. Um, because they were having their little bachelorette party across the street, and they showed up. 
I happened to get invited. It's a long story, but I got invited. And um, I'm really excited. So, and it's going to be right near me on the beach. You know, I'm getting carried away with these round circles. I think I, I probably lost most of you. But you know what I'm thinking now? I'm getting excited, and I'm, I'm probably going to want to do another. Um, when I'm done with this, I'm definitely going to be painting again. Oh, wait, no, I don't want that one. I want this one. Okay, what am I using? I'm using gold. That's pretty simple. I'm right over here. Can you see? Right here. Gold. Okay, so I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to put in a little bit of gold. Let's see. I don't know if that'll be good. You know what? I know what I should put in there. Oh, it just came to me. Okay, let's put some gold in here. Down. That looks really cool. Yes. Gold. Gold it is. And ta-da. Oh, that looks super nice. Very whimsical. Very whimsy. Um, let's get some gold here. You see, things change all the time. You just never know. You know, you start doing something, and this is what happens. You, you think of something else along the way. Or a mistake happens, and you got to fix it and figure something else out. You know, and there you go. There you are. Next thing you know, you're painting gold. Okay, here we go. Let's on to the next one. Let's fix you, dear. Did I do? Yes, I did. I'm going to go up like this, and I'm going to go down. Doot. Doo doo. Doot, 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 doot. There we go. Okay. Um, up here like this, around. Yeah, so last night was a lot of fun, and um, I've been in the house crafting all day. I mean, literally. Painting. Just feels so, um, you know, into it. Okay, and um, all right here. And you can see where, okay. I know, I just touched it. It's okay. And I think we're good. But um, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to, I want to add black. Okay, so I'm just going to do, I'm going back in. What did I say? This one's black. Okay, this is black. And I'm just going to put a little bit of black under some of these. Just, you know, here and there. Here and there and everywhere. You know, because they're all facing different directions. They're not all facing the same direction. Um, and some of them are really faded out. Okay. I just I just smushed. But it's everything seems to be okay. No catastrophes are over here. Yeah, so I do have a Bluetooth headset, and can you believe, I spent a lot of money on it, and it's it, it doesn't hook up to my new phone. It's annoying. And I think it's happened to a friend of mine. So, I have to do more investigating on that. Oh, and also my freezer broke, and I do not want to buy... It didn't break. What happened, there's something in the freezer that is not working properly, and it's not defrosting, and I spent a lot of money on that refrigerator freezer when I moved in here, but it was a long time ago, and nothing lasts anymore. They, they make it to break. 
So I think I'm going to try and see if I can figure out how to fix it myself. You know, YouTube teaches you everything. And there's got to be somebody on there who can tell me. I, somebody said, somebody told me it's the thermometers, but we shall see. Anyway, I'm getting off the deep end. I'm just blabbering around. I think I'm going to let this dry. I know I see this. I'm sure you saw it before me. And I'm just going to do this. And guess what? Nothing's happening. So I'm going to, I'm going to try it this way. Oh, wait, I did get something. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I've seen somebody do this and they picked it up. Maybe it doesn't work with black, but you know what? It's starting to look better. There we go. See that? We learned something today. It's the first time doing this, but I did see somebody do it. Okie dokie. All right. I'm going to dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, I can't just leave it like this. I have to do more. So um, I'm going to move this over. And I'm sorry if this is too long. You may want to um, increase the speed or just um, you know, finish watching it another time. I'm sorry. I am trying to um, think. Okay, wait a minute. Let me look at this board. Okay, this will tell me. So I like the Ultra ultramarine so that ultramarine is up above the pink this is a lot easier to find the um, colors when you look it's not that hard okay so this is ultramarine and I'm just gonna do some whimsical flowers you know what did I say up above pink whimsy flowers And we're going to get the gold. I like the way that looks. The gold in the second, in the center. And it goes really nice with what's going on over here. And I'm going to do another one. But I'm going to do it in... What color am I going to do it in? Uh, malachite. So malachite is one two three four one two three four i think it's this one if not i like it this is a pretty color so we're going to just do um some uh go like this you know again remember this is whimsy we're not doing realistic we're doing whimsy and this is an easy flower to do to decorate your journals and you know there's so much positive energy that goes into these journals it's amazing because the person that created your journal you know really loved it and that's why they're so valuable plus they're they can be handed down. They're an heirloom. You don't just get these and throw them in the garbage. They're going to be passed down. Okie dokie. We're going to let that dry. And what are we going to do next? Maybe get, um, let me see. I did, I can't even read that. Something deep. So I like the rose. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do the Rose Madeira. I think that next time I have to be more careful when I am um, putting the paints. I could look at the box and then just write it. Maybe, maybe I can read the box and it's, if it is legible, I'll write them above that so that it's bigger. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Oh, there you go, Linda. There we go. So we're going to do another. Another um, whimsical leaf here. 
And we're going to get the red again, whatever it was. Looks like red to me. And we'll just outline it like that. And we'll let those dry. And then, is that, that's wet. You know what? Okay, what other, I'm going to put another flower in here. What other colors should we go with? We got, um, I'm going to go with this light blue. Let me see, what's the real name? I'm making it an ultramarine pale. Ultramarine pale. That's really important, Linda. You need to know the names of your colors. Oh, you won't believe this. Last night while I was out, I met a very famous person. And I walked up to him, a very nice man, a real gentleman. And um, I, I, I went up to him and I said, you know, I have to apologize to you. I know you're a famous person. Can you believe I said this? <laughs> but I can't remember your name. And I know I've seen you. So he just looked at me kind of surprised. And um, he was very nice. And then he came over and we were dancing together. Not like, you know, part, you know, not like we were in love with each other or anything, but just dancing alongside each other. And um, I introduced him to Pam. And then later, you know, I, he was showing me stuff on his phone to try and tell me who he was. And I still, you know, I could barely hear him and I could barely see without my readers what he was showing me on his phone. But I remember his first name was Chaz. And I know I saw him on a podcast. And he's a super nice guy. A perfect gentleman. As soon as I find out his name, boy, he's I'm going to compliment him. And I said to him last night, I said, you know, you are just like you are. You know, I don't know if I like I'm thinking because I don't watch TV. How could I have found him? So it could have been on a podcast. It probably was a podcast. So I have this and I'm going to do Corian Blue. And I know I'm not pronouncing that right. I apologize because I can barely read. I put my, um, I, the paint is over the, the word. Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to put another flower up here. And we'll do, we'll do a little, um, let's go over here. And we're just doing loose, make pretend flowers. And they're going to really look like a flower when they're done. That's what's interesting. Okay. So this is still wet, but what I'm going to do on that one let me see if I can get it in here. The gold really feels like wash. Look at how cool that is. Okie doke. Let's see. Let's do them all like that. Okay, so we're going to go in here. And we're going to finish this. Like that. And then we'll go do the blue one. I think the blue one's okay. Oh, that looks really cute. Okay, and then we're going to do it over here on top. And we're going to do that. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is get the, what was I using? Oh, yep, this one. I think it was this one. Yep. Coriander blue. Okay, and then we're just going to go in and outline. Outline the outer leaves. There we go. My hand is a little shaky. That's why I'm going over it. Okay, and then I don't remember what I did over here. But you know what? We're going to go... Oh, it was above the, the pink one. So we're going to go back in here and we're going to do the same thing. 
and we're just going to outline like that and go in here like this and around this one and here we go and these are our loose flowers and we can go around it so i can see where i already did that where i didn't want to do it so might as well just go around the whole thing never fear there's always a way out okay so um I wanted to I think I'm done with this and I'm going to bring out the black pen but I'm gonna to have to dry this a little bit and so I will be right back okay so I am back and now what I'm using because someone asked me in the last video um, what pen did I use so I found this pen somewhere and I picked it up and I love it so it's called a pilot g207 and G might stand for gel because um, I bought more of them. They're in the drawer, so I have plenty. I'm, I can't, I don't want to run out of this pen. I really like it. So what I'm going to do, and you know, you may have your own pen that you like, but I'm only bringing it up because somebody asked me what pen I was using. Okay, so that's the answer to that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around like I usually do and outline. And I really like the way the outline looks it just adds to the whimsicalness of it and i'm sorry i'm going slow and i'm just going to go around it like that and here we go we're going to go around and around and around like that and it, it really does it adds okay so now what i want to do let me see if i can do this it's kind of hard going over the paint, but that's okay. Um, here we go, and I want to go up, and I like the way that adds to it. I really do. It just gives it some extra detail, the black pen. Okay, so let's move, let's go up this side, so since we went up that side, and just outline it. You know, I usually only do like one side, but tonight I just feel like doing both. And let's go around here. And I'm liking this. You know, in the beginning, I told you it's like my first time doing this. It was an experiment, um, but I do like the way that it came out. Okay, um, we got this one. Now let's let's do this one. Okay. And I do like the way it looks. You know, this book is a compilation of so many different things. But, um, you know, it's interesting because each page, when you turn it, you're going to find a different um, medium. Some are, you know, embellishments. From what I learned from the junk journaling world and then some watercolor painting and doodling and colored you know I bought the watercolor pencils so you know there's a lot of interesting stuff and then the collaging and using the vintage papers you know it just adds interest I I put something in here um, in another video that's of a sandwich like a really disgusting in my opinion sandwich but you know, it'll just give her something to talk about or laugh, you know, when she shows it to her honey. And um, it's a conversation piece. You know, people can walk in and look at it. And um, it's art. 
that's what it's all about and when she gets it I'm gonna tell her I want her to just write down her gratitude her great her what she's grateful for things like that because this this book is going to be a blessing I'm going to bless it also uh, many of you don't know I'm a oneness blessing giver I went through the class I got uh, authorized or I don't you know I don't want to say certified but I think anybody can do this but I went through to a retreat and it's um, you know it was costly and uh, it's a very um, it's not a religion it's just a, a matter of um, sending love to the world or to people around you if you've never um, experienced um, getting being the recipient of a oneness blessing I would recommend finding out about it because it's truly a blessing. You are getting blessed constantly. It's uh, really amazing. So um, when I experienced it, I won't go into detail because um, some people don't like this stuff, but I had a, a profound experience when it, was, when it happened to me. And um, that's what um, you know, inspired me to become one. And then Tony Robbins is one, and there's some, you know, people out there, good people, that um, do this. So it's not a religion, it's just a matter of, you know, sending good vibes. And I, that's all. Okay, so we're just going to finish this um, blue one, and I will take a look at it, and I hope you like it. I like it. Um, I think it's, you know, there's probably, um, there's definitely more you can do to this but I just feel like at this point um, I'm gonna leave well enough alone because <laughs> I don't want to ruin it so it's we're done this is what it looks like um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're interested in following me hit the subscribe and smash the notification button if you are also interested in looking and seeing what I have been doing in the past, I have an Etsy shop and you can go look at my, um, or you can go into, um, there's a section in the YouTube where it shows journals and you can just look at them there. Also, if you're interested, I have um, paper packs, which have an assortment of, of different papers that you would use in your um, journals. Um, I actually have some in the, in here. So it's a compilation and I have a video of that in there and I also have some fabric packs. So if you're interested, go to Etsy um, store and type in Linda's Crafting Depot and that's where you'll find me. With that, have an amazing day. Get crafting, whatever your medium is. Enjoy it and I send you all blessings and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.